the Buddha's teachings on happiness are counterintuitive in a lot of ways. You're happy by giving things away. You're made happy by restraining yourself from unskillful behavior. You're made happy by training the mind. And it goes against our usual impulse. You just want to go out and get a little pleasure here, a little pleasure there. Satisfy yourself with that. But the Buddha looks at happiness over the long term. And he trains us to look at happiness over the long term as well. And that's when you realize that he's right, that when you're generous it has lots of good repercussions for a long time. You feel good about your own ability to, to share. Other people treat you better because you're generous. And that's just with generosity, virtue, and meditation. Even though they require more effort, they also give a lot better results. Results that are really nourishing for the mind. There are a lot of forms of happiness out there that are like potato chips. You eat and eat and eat, and you get a little bit of your hunger assuaged, but then it's bad for your system. And you find yourself getting hungrier and hungrier all the time. Whereas the happiness that comes from generosity, virtue, meditation, that's really good for you. It strengthens you. Because it strengthens all kinds of good qualities in the mind. The happiness that comes from just grabbing pleasures is, actually strengthens really unhealthy qualities in the mind. Impatience, irritability. It makes you really a weak person. But by developing the good qualities of virtue, concentration, discernment, generosity, all these things make you a stronger person. That's why this is really good health food for the mind. And what we need as much as we can get every day, every day. So make sure you're feeding the mind well. After all, the mind is like the body. It does need nourishment. But these are the things that feed it, that give it strength. And when the mind has strength, okay, then the, the strength of the body is not an issue, because the body, of course, has its ups and downs. There are times when it's strong and there are times when it grows weak. Especially as you get older, it tends more and more towards weakness. But as long as the good qualities in your mind are strong, that's what really matters. And that can be your refuge. 